Damn. All right. Damn. Uh, did you get a squib? No, I got a blowout. This is for a uh, neuter 10 millimeter. Sent me his Glock barrel that had the uh, blowout in the back. And see it's pretty clean down there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it in an ultrasonic cleaner with some acetone and uh, process it and look for cracks in it. Level was a little low so we're, we filled it up a little bit. So we're gonna start back up. All right, it's been in here about five minutes, and uh, it's pretty clean. Clean enough for what I gotta do with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it over and uh, let it dry out a little bit. And I'll be right back. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this glowing stuff on it, inside and outside. But that's not the test. So you want it fully coated inside and outside and then you got to let it set for about 10 minutes so we'll be back in about 10 minutes all right I waited uh, 20 minutes instead of 10 uh, just to give it a little bit more opportunity to seep into any cracks and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse it off with some water uh, what this process is called is water washable liquid penetrant and this is what's called a level 3 sensitivity and they use this on uh, aircraft parts, so I'm more than confident that if there are any cracks in this component, um, I'll find them. What I'm doing now is I'm rinsing it under a black light to try to get all the surface stuff off, but um, anything in a crack or anything should remain, or should, uh, the penetrant should remain inside the part. See, you can see there's still penetrant inside, so I've got to wash that out. Right here. Um, this stuff is so good that I had uh, uh, some parts that I had processed like a month before, and uh, Stuff is still bleeding not cracked. So I'm not too worried about overwashing it, which is a concern, but as long as you stay within the operating parameters, you should be alright. Check that under a black light. Uh-huh. See that right there? It's uh, definitely got some stress cracks right here. I haven't even developed the part yet, and you can see some stress cracks right there. Wow. Hey, look at that. That is incredible right there. That's wicked. The camera doesn't know where to... All right, put the part in the dryer. Let it dry probably about 20 minutes and uh, I'll come back. And... But man, it was bleeding like a stuck pig. You can still see it faintly, but uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the developer. So, developer is basically a talc 
you can see it. It's like a chalk. So what, what it's going to do is going to attach to the part and draw out all that penetrant, act as a blotter on top of the penetrant, and uh, really make it stand out. So I'm just going to close the lid here. Alright, now what that did was that made a little cloud. Yeah, yeah, you can see the cloud come up there, so we'll let that set for 10 minutes. Well, no surprise here. Um, these cracks we saw during processing are still there. Um, there's a one side. That's nothing. Um, here's the other side. And um, again, I'll roll in some some stills. I don't know why it's brighter there. It's probably where it's sitting on the rack. But you can see there. Um, let's, let's take a look inside. Here's the back end of it. Yeah, no surprises. I actually, uh, I'm looking inside the barrel and I don't see anything um, in there, in the barrel itself, but the chamber is, is uh, blue bar. So there you have it, the first test of this barrel and the chamber has been overstressed to say the least so stick around I'll do some more tests see you later